What's up guys, it's Joe back here with Fanatic Bricks, and today we're doing another review on the Halo Mega Box um, Light Assault VTOL, and it's very, it's an okay set, um, it comes with two minifigures and a VTOL, and it retails for $24.99, so let's get right, dive right into the minifigures. So here's the first minifigure, it is the Mark VI Spartan, um, it's very, very nice. Um, this is one of the only reasons I like this set, is because this Mark VI is just very good painted. A lot of good details, and as well, it comes with a black DMR. You know I love those DMRs. But here it is. It's very, very nice. So, um, so let's get look, a good look at the figure. Take the DMR off for you guys. And here it is. So let's get a look at the face. So, here it is. Let's look at the back of the figure. It comes with a peg hole, of course. It does look like the same color as a um, CAO, because the silver right there and the bluish. So that's pretty cool, but not really a big fan of that. But it looks pretty cool, but um, still, it's a nice figure. It's very, very shiny as well. But, yes, so let's get to our next figure. The brand new Storm Jackal is very, very nice. It's, um, comes with a new beam rifle. As well as a new yellow shield. It's very, very nice. And let's get a good look at the very, very highly detailed face. And it's very, very, very awesome. Very, very good, highly detailed face. Sorry about that guy's not letting it focus. I don't know why. Um, um, really sorry. Okay, I'm, yep, here we go. So here it is. It's a very, very nice sculpt on the face. Very, I like how they show the teeth and the little beak it has and then the red hair. Um, I wish they could have threw these in the um, new spade. That'd be really cool, but I guess the normal jackets are fine, I guess. But it's still a very, very nice figure. Um, it's good to have. And yeah, so let's get right into the VTOL. Here's the VTOL. Um, it's a very, very nice... Uh, actually, it's not a very, very nice vehicle. It's a pretty good vehicle. I'm not a really big fan of it. It's not the best. Um, I think this set just goes for too much money. You only get a little vehicle and just too many figures. If you're gonna do that, I'd just buy the siege bike. But um, here it is. Comes with two little guns in the front. This little thing goes down and up, and um, you can see one minifigure. This these things keep falling off as well. It's a real big pig in the butt. But here it is. Gives us some stickers. Well, actually, there's no. The only good thing about this set is that it has no stickers, and that's a really good thing. And then all these little back like flaps can go up, and then it looks like a little scorpion. They kind of. They actually should have called this. No, I shouldn't call it a scorpion because there's already a tank called that. But it's still really cool. Then these little flaps go down as well. This one goes down really too far. But still, it's a very nice vehicle. So let's see one minifigure inside, which is the Mark VI. So let's sit him inside. Um, sorry about this, guys. And then, yeah, so he's inside. And he's ready to go kick some butt. So here he is. He actually fits pretty, pretty good. You can fit any figure in there. Probably not like a hunter or a storm jackal because the jackal does have these things. But um, it's still very nice. You can fit any unit I see in there. Um, it's still an awesome figure. Awesome little vehicle. It's not a big fan of it. It's not highly deep. It's not, I just don't like the color. And it's just not awesome to me. But let's just get right into the ratings. I'm going to give this set maybe... Hmm. You guys might think I'm sounding crazy, but I'm going to give this set an 8 out of 10. It is just not my favorite set. It just, some cons, it's just, um, my Storm Jackal is actually pretty good. I'm like, the, 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 this, I would just buy the set for the minifigures. The minifigures are just worth it, but the VTOL is just, no offense to anybody, it's just a piece of garbage to me. It's just not a, a must-have. But if you really want, if you really want these figures, then I guess you can get it, but if you guys just want the vehicle, I highly suggest you do not get this set then, because this set is not a must-have. This set is like, I'm surprised I even get it 8 out of 10. I was going to give it a 6 out of 10, but I just gave it 8 out of 10 just for the minifigures, so the minifigures technically saved it. But guys, I hope you guys enjoyed our videos. Give it a thumbs up, and we will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye!